Act has been given by the clerk in the following manner. One posted on the bulletin board of our clerk's office on January 5th, 2022, and two emailed to the retrospect and carry post on January 5th, 2022. No business discussion for this meeting, public hearing for ordinance for the construction fees and the land use fees. Uh, as everyone understood, the, the construction of the new construction official uh, he made some recommendations. I think they were minimal, but they're important to keep uh, the department uh, current. Well, current and also, uh, you know, uh, they're not to be profitable, but they got to pay their bills. And land use fees, the same thing. We've got to make sure that we uh, compare. compare. Ordinance 2219, outside employment fees for police department. Uh, this is important because our ordinance has to match our contract and things like that. So I believe that's all correct. Um, I will say that one thing about police outside employment, so everyone hears me in the room, is uh, by law, we must collect money from the vendors prior to doing the work, but simultaneously, we must pay pay the police officers if they do. That. So they both have to happen simultaneously. We have to collect the money, and we have to pay. Sometimes we pay without collecting the money, and that we just have to make that that clean. It, it, that's just something we have to just do a better job um, on that. Not that it's a big deal, but it's just a paperwork. Stop sign at Forest Avenue. I appreciate the engineer and all with doing that. Um, that was in the part of the agreement with the gentleman who, who sold us that uh, piece of land in front of there. Has anybody driven down Forest? Is it pretty good? It's very nice. Uh, I, let me just say something. I like the idea of stop signs, but no, we still need stop. It was like I, I told Mark. We do our part. Like, the, the thing of it is, we, we're doing our part. And I told Mark, I said, no, we still need stop. And you're going to be. They'll slide through. So if we put a stop sign and we put a crossbar, we've done our part. Yeah. And if the police department wants to it'll enforce slow, it, it might just be down. Yeah. Yeah, we'll slow it down. I mean, let's be clear, we can't have an officer at every corner no, in this town. No, obviously. Uh, Mayor, there is one ordinance that's not on here for public hearing because we still don't know what the um, terms will be for the lead paint inspections. Uh, Okay, uh, I, I missed that meeting at the league. Um, I think we can hold off. I don't think it's the end of the world. Okay. Yeah, uh, I have to better actually talk to that guy today. He's going to send me over his uh, standard terms and conditions contract within the next few months. He called me, the guy uh, from the vendor, from the lead tape. I thought, but I thought there was a possibility we were going with the county there. Uh, there was some talk, but it, it's everyone's figuring it out. Nothing's happening. All we know is I think we need an ordinance to say that we're requiring it. Yeah, exactly. And then, and then who the vendor is, is a separate issue. We're saying yeah. what before we say how. Yes. Are we putting a fee? That's what's really, there's a fee in the sample that we have, and we don't know if that's an accurate fee. We can, we can, we can, we can. We can be patient on that. Yeah. Okay. We already missed the best practices. We have 10 to 12 months mm -hmm. to figure it out. What's that? Uh, it has to be done. It does. It's a mandate. It, it is. It is. It's an mandate. We have to do it. Yes. Okay. 
Yes, but the lead paint, it's, it's a little more complicated because we don't have a department who can do the inspection. We either have to use a third party, but then there's also talk that the, the property owner can hire their own person to do it. Oh. There's a little more things, and as a landlord myself, it's just the state making people do things that's, you know, with no plan. So they can say they did something about it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, shared service agreement. Okay, so the, that other ordinance, we're, we'll, we'll hold off on. Shared service agreement with county to project save. I think this is something that the police chief wanted to do, correct? This is positive for the, for the court. I want it, too. Yeah. I want it. Yeah, that was your email, too, I think. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, it's, this is so important. So we'll prove that at the next meeting. Even if one person is saved, I don't know how we can prove Okay. Discussion of trash agreement uh, with the Belmar. I don't know if everybody saw it. It only came in very late, but just, you know, Shelley did review some of the numbers uh, just very quickly, if I can't remember. Stop me. But in 2011, we switched from waste management. If everyone remembers in town, we had waste yeah. management, a private company. They were charging us about $20,000 a month. And now, 12 years later, this proposal is $27,000 a month. Yeah, so it's gone up. But in, in, the real, real, in the world that we're now living in, that's not a huge increase. It's a huge increase from last year to this year because it's about 19%. But for us to go out, and your question, you know, uh, we have to, it ha how do I say this? If we wanted to go and find a new solicitor, you don't wait until really you don't wait till the last month. If we wanted to find a new trash guy, you know, and you would say, well, we didn't get the proposal from Belmar. You know, um, my attitude towards Belmar is they, they back up their numbers. If they had to give their, their trashman a raise, they tell us that. The driver now gets an extra two dollars an hour. Is that correct, Harry? They had to pay their trashman more money. They had to pay the driver more money. Fuel costs are up. So one thing about Belmar, Joe Siano specifically does a great job of saying why the costs were up. He He's not allowed to make profit, so he yeah, explains. I just see that it's going to work that way. Yeah. That's reasonable. Waste management, Shelly and I talked, would probably be charging us 40000 They do a good job. Wow. And they do a great job because they're the <laughs> government type of employees. This is where privatization, you know, I don't think it works on trash because then they, they hold you hostage. You know, with all the towns that got rid of their trash trucks, they were held hostage when they don't, they, they don't come to their town. It's, a, it's, a, it's an increase. So is our tipping fees. We have to find the money somewhere else. I've been looking at salaries and wage in the clerk's office. And so we make it up. <laughs> he, he couldn't pay us enough. <laughs> he couldn't pay us enough. I thought you were going to pick on the solicitor tonight. <laughs> well, then, you know. Well, you're still looking at the game. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's over. I watched it at the time. Uh, now, with this trash right? agreement, um, where shall do you want to do this this evening, Henry? They wanted it done by December first. Do you have any problems with it? I saw you had the four. We have four containers. We have some apartments that are being done. Um, just so everyone knows, by law, the apartments that we don't pick up trash, we reimburse them, and that costs the borough another fifty thousand, sixty thousand, seventy thousand dollars more a year. We're re they they give us a, copies of their bills, and then we reimburse them because in their property tax. We're charging for uh, trash pickup. We don't do it. Um, trash is a very expensive part of what we do. I was the impression that the agreement had to be done by December first. The agreement has to be done just at our meeting because it, it's going in front of our meeting too. So we have to we have to execute it first. I mean, does so Mister, do you have any objections to this? It's, no. it's, it's the renewal. I, mean, I understand the concerns that it's an increase, but does anybody? Well, do we have to do it tonight? I think so because if we get it done, then they, the Mountie from ratifies, Thelma ratifies, and we're good for January 1st. All right. So, yeah, I'll yeah, go with that. All clear for me. Okay. I'm good with that. Uh, do you have any resolutions on for this evening at all? Okay. Thank you. Do we have any resolutions on? No. So what number would it be? I have no, I have no idea. Turn fees to the greenhouse garden. No, they're not on for. But for next week. They're, they're just discussion. Okay. okay. All right. What do you think the resolution would be? Uh, I don't know. About, uh, well, that, you don't have to give it a number. Just 22, say, 150? Yes. It won't be that, though. 150 plus. Uh, all right, resolution 21, 150 plus uh, is a agreement to, to authorize the mayor to sign the trash, trash agreement with the borough of Belmar and the money for, for trash service for another year. I'll make okay. that motion. I'll make that motion. Motion by Mr. Lava, signed second by Mr. Ranieri. I'll take it. Roll call, please. <laughs> 
Mr. Mr. Yes. Mr. Ranieri. Yes. Mr. Lobbenstein. Yes. Mr. Fowler. Yes. Mrs. Kelly. Yes. And Mr. Sapiro. All right. Yes. So before I leave, how about if you want to review it some more, and then I'll sign it, and then we'll send it over so they can at least keep it going. Yes. Thank you. All right. Uh, salary ordinance. Uh, I don't have it in front of me, but one of the things that Shelley's been, been doing yeah. is um, making sure that by law, anybody who gets paid by the borough of Runnymede must have an ordinance that. It gives their uh, salary. Was there any questions on this? Okay, let me just make something clear since it was brought up. The police matrons. Okay, let me bring this up there. So the police matrons, they are, um, they weren't hired at a straight fee. Of 13 or 14 dollars, whatever it was, 14 dollars. Straight fee. I understand. It's 13. Um, but I believe what was missing was, is that. All this other stuff. No, no, no. Let me just explain. So a police officer gets called in overtime. He gets four hours called in. A, a public works employee who keeps a pager on over the weekend gets fifty dollars to have the pager on. A, uh, a fire investigator might get a stipend to be available to do this. Uh, the clerk gets uh, comp time to, to sit uh, during um, election uh, to be available during the election. Is that it was it was, it was to sit. But I'm going to say. Uh, Available. I'll change it to available. She gets comp time to, to, to do that. Um, you know, police officers are uh, given comp time to do training and stuff like that. So even though we hired someone and said this is what your pay is, it was brought to my attention that one of the reasons it's tough to have people do this job is who's going to show up in the middle of the night to for 15 or 14 dollars an hour. So if you recall, people weren't showing up. Now, I would argue that it should have been brought to our attention prior. Because it was brought to my attention that this, that this salary that they were getting was because they were going to be called in after hours. Because we couldn't get anybody to come The in. four hours? <clears throat> the call in hours? Or the so four hours was never discussed. It wasn't discussed. Never. No, it was discussed it was after the fact. And it was so the hourly original I'm, resolution. I'm talking about the hourly rate. But the hourly rate is minimum wage. Yeah. But but when they were hired, they knew that they would have to work after hours. I understand. That so, was my so let me just explain a couple of things, and you guys can vote me down, which okay. I have no problem. No, 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 no let me finish. Let me talk. Okay, we brought a, and this is not to attack anybody, but I'm in an attacking mood tonight. I'm good. I'm glad. <laughs> I, I, I'm just. We brought in Frowinger, uh, a string band last night, and they were paid. You know, can I tell everybody? It's public knowledge. They paid two thousand dollars. To play in our in our uh, our parade list for an hour and a half, but I would argue that they had to get dressed, they had to drive over here, they had to be prepared. They did all these things. They were terrific. I'm telling you, they, they were great. The mayor does weddings. I get paid 150 dollars for a wedding. It takes me 15 minutes. I have to get dressed. I have to show up. You know, I have to sign the paperwork and do it. I. But you're talking about oranges and apples. I, I don't believe so. If, if, if I'm a matron if, 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 and I get a phone call at 3 o'clock in the morning, I'm not coming. If you're making a deal with Fire me, if you're making a deal with me and I'm accepting the job, then how does that, how, how now I'm going to change all the rules now? Now I don't, okay. So I'm going to get paid $13 an hour. Yep. Because, and I, you're going to call me probably in the middle of the night. Yep. Okay. To, to sit with a woman or, or yes. whatever my job is yep. as a matron, because I already know what my job is. Okay. So now I'm going to tell you I don't. I'm going to do that for, for that amount of money. I, so now you're going to go and say, well, you know what? Let's change. It. So let me just tell you, I, I, I agree with you. Right. I absolutely agree with you. We hired a fireman. This is public session. I hope it's recorded. We hired an EMT, and we're paying him thirty thousand dollars, which is a, we can do that all the time. Which is a low amount of money. I, I'll admit it. First one to admit. It's Where's not, our guarantee? My point is, is that What's your point? we didn't know. We don't know. We don't always know what's what going we on. Know? We don't know that that maybe they always get a few hours. Right now, I didn't know until a, year, a month ago when I, when that they I got paid. To that resolution, I had 
they got paid four hours to come in and, and get trained. I didn't know that they need to get paid for training. Did they, Did you know they need to be paid for training? No, no, no. You, does everyone know that our police officers, our, our police officers, they go out and they have to be qualified. They don't do it while they're on duty. We give them comp time to go do it. Why? I don't know. Because if we take them off the shift, then they're not available to, to do calls. You don't want to do the four hours? Listen, counsel. I'm not here to fight fights anymore. I am disgusted. I'm absolutely disgusted. What and are you disgusted about? Nick? Isn't this your job to be disgusted? You know, you disgusted? I'm disgusted because I don't always have the information. Are you disgusted with us or are you disgusted because how it's being handled? I'm, because it should have been handled this way. I, I agree. I 110% agree that I didn't know. But what I try to do is try to fix and problems. And that's our job to either object to it. Yes. So that's why I'm sitting so here. So I try to fix problems. And this is a problem that I believe is going to happen. Because if we, if council tonight says we're not going to do a four hour call in time, I would expect the matrons all to quit. Now you might say, well, wait a second, they already took the job with that. Let's talk about people. They're not if they, rational. If they work over four hours, they're still going to get that four hours? Like, tell me. It's a minimum. See, it says minimum. Yeah. So if someone's with, a, with someone for eight hours, they get paid for hour, eight hours. But if they come in, it's a minimum of four hours. It, it, their hourly rate doesn't go into there. If you think that's too that's much, what's the least that they work? Yeah, we, we know, we know. Nick, what's the so shortest the the short short period they work? Like, guys? We need to make it worth a while to come in. I know nothing about matrons. I know so. But I would have accepted the job. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to bring the chief in, which I don't want to, because I feel bad to dra drive him into this. But I don't know anything about matrons. We're wasting time on something this trivial. Now, the, the lifelong employees for the borough feel that I need to. Just should have been handled a little better. Yeah, we know that. OK, are you blaming me? No. Who are you blaming? You no, who are you blaming? I want to know who you're blaming. I'm not blaming anybody. You said it should have been handled different. Yes. Who should have handled it different? I think the chief should have made it very clear right from the beginning that they were going to get training and they would get time for that and that they were going to be coming in. And, but he did not make it clear. To defend the chief? Can we, it's been 30 I'm years now. Right no, it's, 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 it's been 30 right. years now. No, 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 we're not talking like that about personnel or employees. We're not criticizing anybody. We are not rehashing the when was I told, why wasn't I told, how this was handled. We are having a discussion about right now and how we're going to handle this moving forward. Monday morning quarterback does nothing for anybody and it steps over some lines that we have with respect to personnel, rice notices, and executive session. So we can either have a productive conversation about how we're gonna move forward, or else we gotta end the conversation, but instead of rehashing, and Mayor, sorry to step in, I just felt like I had to at this point, we need to well, let's take a move vote. forward. Do we want the Chief to explain it? No, we're good. I'm good. Okay. I sat with him and he explained everything to me. Okay. Uh, was there any other questions? Now, let's be clear. That minimum wage goes up on January 1st. We have no say on that. So regardless of what we put in this resolution, their pay will go up on January 1st. Does everybody accept that? That's fine. Yeah. Minimum wage is minimum wage. Okay. Uh, all right, what else? Was there anything else that was, was questioned on this? Nothing else? No. I can't hear you. Minimum training hours? We added that to it. I don't, I don't see it. It's at the end of the paragraph. So once again, people are required to be trained. I believe that people should be compensated for when they work. And even training is part of working. Uh, you can strike that if you want to strike it. You know, it's, it doesn't make a difference to me. It doesn't. So I want to vote on this tonight. Yes. So, uh, I'm bringing up ordinance 22100 plus, an ordinance regulating the salaries for employees of the borough of Runway. Now, here, let me make it clear what you can do. You can make a motion in a second, and then I'll open up for discussion, and you can amend the application. You can amend the ordinance if you want to amend it. You can ask to table it. You can do whatever you want. Here's the problem, Mayor. When will we do a public hearing on this? Because we can't do first, here, first reading, 
and then reorganize and pick up for second reading. So why is it on my agenda? The last meeting of the year, we have one December. We have, I'm saying, do we have time to do it in December before we right. go to the Yeah, December. December. Okay. we have enough time. Then I withdraw my objection, or it wasn't even much of an objection. Okay, sorry. <laughs> All right, so we have an ordinance to 22 dash whatever 100 plus, an ordinance regulating the salaries for employees of the borough of Runaby from for the year 2022. I'd like to amend that 2022 to 2023. Uh, whereas Mayor Kent wished to set the annual hourly salaries for the employees of the borough of Runaby as follows. And as you can see, it gives a minimum and maximum range for all the particular positions. Do we have, before we move on, do we have the person who opens and closes the Harry Williams book? Shelly, is that the person on here? Maria? I didn't want to say her name, but that's okay. I'd like to amend that also and put, what do we call that person? Number. <laughs> 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 <Sorry. laughs> <That's personal. laughs> Bu building uh, facility? How about the recreation? We had a name, but I don't know how it is. Recreation? Recreation liaison, I like that. Recreation liaison. So the range should be between 10 and 15, because minimum wage is 15. Is there anybody else we're missing? Stipends are not supposed to be in here, right? They are in here. They are. So, for example, pesticide certification, sewer operator, they're stipends. Clean communities coordinator is a stipend. I don't see the green team. Yes, yeah, sustainable is there. Yeah, sustainable is there. Yeah, sustainable is there. And I saw that. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's good. I think uh, the. Uh, Open. Sustainable is on the first ballot. Administration. The opening and closing was maintenance and janitorial, yeah. I believe. And where's that at? It's under, under public hourly. works, isn't it? Yeah. Hourly. Well, I like the word rate recreation liaison. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So, uh, would someone like to make a motion yeah. to approve or disapprove this ordinance? I'll make a motion to approve. I'll second. Okay. Is there any further discussion? No. No. I want to. Really? Yeah. Just because I want to. Do you need a roll call? Yes. When I feel like it. <laughs> when I feel like it. Give this point. Here, have some. Here, have some. Have some. Quit while you're ahead. Yeah, you know. Uh, so we have a motion by Mr. Lobbenstein, second by Mr. Farrell. Roll call, please. Uh, Mrs. Passio. Yes. Mr. Ranieri? Yes. Mr. Robinson? Yes. Mr. Farrell? Yes. Mrs. Kelly? Yes. And Mr. Sapiro? Right. You know, I, it's called the bully pulpit, right? Yeah. So I get to say whatever I want to say. Wow. So, uh, tell me how much you Now, I'll tell you why I'm frustrated. I'll tell you why I'm frustrated. This is a small town. We all know each other. All of our ships should be sailing in the same direction. And what I feel like is sometimes that and, and I think the council, one of the things that I would say about the members of council is the reason I enjoy working with everybody as a member of council is because I think the quality that you guys all bring to the table, the first quality that I've always enjoyed was that you're generally good people. You're good people, you're nice people, you're honest people, and things like that. That's always been the criteria that I thought was important to doing this job. However, not to disparage on the employees, but the employees are, at a, they, they're not the same. They're not. Their perspective is it's their careers, it's their jobs, it's their livelihoods. That's a very different perspective than our perspective. Sure. So when we point something out, it can be taken extremely personal to the employee about what we're doing. That, that, that's the only the one thing that I would say. The second thing that bothers me is, is now it's personal to the employee, but then employees have jealousies. They have uh, dislikes. They have all these emotions that cloud their judgment constantly. Now, I'm not saying my judgment's perfectly clear all the time. I've been known to not be clear. But the employees sometimes use their positions and their abilities to sometimes make it difficult on other employees and their positions. And as elected officials, I'm, I'm torn 
between what is my responsibility? Is my responsibility to be a hammer? Or is my responsibility to pick the right tool out? Is everything a nail and I'm a hammer? Or is not everything a nail and I have to decide how to handle that, that, that issue? Your toolbox. I'm a toolbox. I'm not going to hit everything on a hammer. You've got pliers to go I got other, you know? Screws. But what, what frustrates me is, what frustrates me is, is that I have to spend time on things that are minutiae and trivial, that waste my time. Where's the biggest expenditure in the department? The police department. That's our biggest expenditure. You know, then you would go down the line, public work, fire, all this other stuff. You know, I told someone the other day about how much money we spend on public events. How much money do we spend on public events? $30,000. $30,000 out of an almost $10 million budget. And I sat on council one time where the thought was to cancel the 4th of July parade, which we've had for decades and decades, to save a few thousand dollars so that, you know, someone could get a raise, or maybe the better answer is the lower property taxes, but it's $30,000 to lower property taxes on a, $10 million, on a $10 million budget. Or when an employee says to me, that the money we're spending on a parade could be better served giving me a raise. These are the balances that are tough. And putting this chair and having to deal with this is very, very difficult. On top of me running my business, my family, all the nonsense that I do on this job. I'm with you, man. I'm with you. I'm here for four more years minimum. I love this job. I'm a little frustrated right now because there's important things to do. I love that the state of New Jersey just gave us almost another quarter of a million dollars. And they're giving it to us early so we can start planning for Payne Avenue and Harding and, and, and Crescent. Was it Crescent? No. Payne Forest and Harding. Sorry, my brain. I, I, knew that, you know. uh, I love that the, the police department, the fire department got, got money to do this stuff. I think we're, we're, we're moving forward. I, tomorrow night at the planning board meeting, we have applications coming in that are talking about building businesses in this town, which we've been criticized since the day we got here, that we weren't proactive in helping these businesses. But we changed the ordinances, allowing fast food restaurants. Does everyone forget that, that the borough running did not allow fast food restaurants? <coughs> drive through restaurants, it's the same thing. It's all coming together. Drive through restaurants, more outdoor dining in this town for decades. You know, uh, this is, you know, so it's frustrating to me when I'm talking about police matrons. That's frustrating. Or I'm talking about how someone said something or did something. It's a waste of my time. You know, Sloan need the top, man. <laughs> it's not a real top. high hill, though. The hill's not that high. You're You're Allen Allen Iverson. It's a little tiny hill. <laughs> Am I being Allen Iverson right now? We're talking about, we're talking about practice, guys. We're doing this for us. All right. Uh, I'm worried about the, uh, how the employees get along too much. No offense, everyone. I love everyone. Don't get me wrong. Sure, I wouldn't worry about that so much as long as everything's not going to be. I appreciate your passion because you do care and don't just let things go. You don't say that's not my job. You get involved. You do it. You do it. You do a great job. Sometimes it gets to you. It's that simple. It got to me. These past yeah. couple weeks, it's got to I appreciate you. You know, and it's gotten to me because there are bigger pictures, more things to do than, than deal with this. But I will say that one of the issues with this barrel, to everyone out in the audience also, and everyone here, and everybody behind me is, I'm tired of hearing the 40-year rule too. Just because it's the way we've always done it, we're supposed to keep moving forward. You know, identifying problems and doing it. So to be nice to Shelly, I will say that she's brought attention to many things that are wrong. And that is her job. Now, I may not accept every time she tells me everything is wrong, and that's my shortcoming, because I can't put the effort into every little bit of my The fire chief and the deputy chief, we talked for a few minutes in the, in, the, in, the, in the hallway. What was the one thing I said about you guys? I don't have to talk to you, right? Isn't that just wonderful? Yeah. That you're just doing your job and there's no issues. I call you at all? No. I don't call you either. I call you at all? You didn't today, there. <laughs> well, I do call you sometimes. And I, and I understand, but you called me because you had a problem. Yes. And I understand that. I only call you when I And we had a problem because we, we need to resolve some. So everyone out there, if you don't know, Barrow Runnymede is ending in-house payroll. I don't care what it costs. We're ending in-house payroll. I should have done, really it. It. done it 14 years ago, I never and I didn't do it 14 years ago. That is moving up to Clark. 
If we get along. As soon as Joe, Joyce gives me the notices, we'll have flowers and balloons every day until her last day. <laughs> and then that is, is, Nick, what's that? Did you record it? It's fine. It took this long, though. The it's not a dictatorship. No. Everything yeah. wasn't systematic before. Now yeah. it is. So we're going to have a payroll system. It's going to make everyone's lives easier because the police department, the public works, fire department needs to just know that the payroll is done. Like JDP or something? It's a company called, well, we have to go, we might have to go for the data if they're not a state contract, but there are companies that, specif that specialize in government payrolls. And they understand comp time, they understand all the ins and outs of, of, of pensions, and all that stuff that is, it is a lot of work. And for 14 years, I've been told that it's a lot of work, and I accept that it's a lot of work. But you know what? We're going to hire a company that's old. We should have done this years ago. Yeah, and then I'm not going to talk about payroll ever again. Now, all we're going to do is we're going to focus on budgets. We're going to sit there and say that if the, you know, the police budget, how big is it? How big the fire budget is? All these things. Fire department asked me about their budget. It's an important thing to talk about. We have, our budget is our priorities. Where do we want to put our priorities? So the money goes where we prioritize. We want to do it for sustainable stuff, if we want to do it for public events, if we want to do it for employees. It's it's the six people in this room that make this, this decision. I didn't get a vote. It's it's the six of you. Okay. So I'd like to remind everybody. All right, so the salary ordinance has been uh, first reading. The public hearing will be at the last meeting of the year, which is what date? Joyce? I think it's the last Thursday in December, whatever that well, we need to know yep. so that we can. December 29th. So December 29th, this will be a quick meeting. What time do you want to do it? Five o'clock. It's already advertised for six o'clock. Oh, it's six. You want to do it earlier? See, see that she'll re-advertise for that. I'll re-advertise. She, she complains about spending money. You know that. She complains about spending money for advertising, but for that, to move it up an hour? That's what we're talking about. That's a tiny little ad. Oh, oh, see? What time? What time? It's at 6, right? It's at 6 p.m. Oh, I say 30. How about 4? We used to have it at 4. I like the earlier ones. We used to have it at 4. Is that a problem for anybody? We used to have it at 4. What time you get time? Oh, 9 a.m. That is a problem. 4 o'clock. We used to do some of the meetings early. Make it fun. Make it fun. That's the main time for you to make change. 4.30. Four four let's do it at 4. 4.00. Four. All right. That's Seriously, you want me to do it at 4? Yes. yes. So re-advertise, take the money out of the current salary and wage to pay for the, uh, the advertising. Oh my God. And this is not that special. Business. All we're doing is yeah. anything that Shelly has. Adjourned. Adjourned. Anything adjourned. 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 Adjourned.
uh, with our shared court with Magnolia does cause some overtime, and I think that it's only fair that it should be, should be, we should be compensated for any overtime. It's, we're not here to make money off of our neighbors, but we're not here to, to pay the expense. Uh, the agreement with the schools, if a police officer is on duty, they should reimburse us the cost of the, of the police officer. So I think we need to update it. There. I don't know if that's part of the list. Those are July. Yeah. I think we should amend them sooner than later because I don't really want to go six months into the year fighting them over if a police officer is a full time or asleep. Do you want me to resolve that? It's worth on the ones that are up December 31st. Okay. I'm going to work on that. Mayor, I'm going to work. make a suggestion. Yeah. So the boards are in a unique time because they're in the lame duck session, which for a board of education, for some insane reason, there's less that they can do in the lame duck period as opposed to a local government. Um, so they're not in a position to really adjust right now. Once they get past their reorganizations in January, I think then would be the time. So the only thing I'm saying is you're not privy to the fact that we've been having this discussion with our boards for the past two months. And so unaware. I don't want to waste any more time. I hear you. And if a police officer is, is required, I think the board will be happy to reimburse us the cost for that police officer. Our current contract and the current yeah. the current uh, staff is there's a little bit of disconnect right with how that's working. Yeah I just want to make you aware that December wouldn't be the time for a ratification <coughs> there and not necessarily ours but theirs. So they couldn't at their reorg meeting approve a no. contract? Their no. version of their version of me would advise against it because. if it were me. Because of your swearing in new members, yeah. you are getting your administration in line and it's sort of just it starts off a whole different way i think possibly this their second meeting if there is a second meeting or february would be a better time but a reorg is more of a ceremonial get people in get them up to speed on what's going on in the schools and then take it off and run it from there correct i'm going to run it by the board president i do school a lot of school board i want to run it by the board president which that could change as of that's right reorg. that's when we do our Changing of the hats. You want to put money on it? But I'm just letting you know he's correct. I understand he's correct. But I'm also yeah. trying to accomplish something also. I'm trying that. to get things off my No, I totally I totally so agree. Board, it's just the board, I mean, I've never been to a meeting where everything isn't settled before they walk into the meeting. So I would like to at least Right, but it can't start this conversation which we've been working on for two months. That's going off my plate. That's fine, get it. I'm just letting you know procedure. No, they want to wait till February, but I I, yeah. I think the, our, we need to tell them what, what we need That's to fine. do to, to make it to make it fair. Uh, was there any other shared service agreements? There's a whole bunch of them. Uh, how about the factor truck, the mechanical repairs, all That's of all that. Auto. Auto. Just auto. Yeah. It's all auto. So the only one we have to worry about is the court? There's the court one and then there's how a about Harris? Yes. We, have, we have CPW and we're going to make adjustments to the uh, street sweeper and Magnolia for public works. The other ones are other departments that... Ch uh, Cheslar sewer operator is not an auto. Are you working on this? I mean, I just got to change one letter, one number on it from two to three. Oh, it's only the year. Yeah, the auto renew, as long as, unless there's any terms and conditions I on that know, one. I didn't know, but the terms change. change. So what, I, yeah, so I'm not aware of any terms changing besides the court one the mayor just brought up. Well, the only thing I would say about the shared service with Cheshire is we're in the middle of negotiations with the public works contract. And we're talking about raising the CPW's uh, rates. Does that affect the shared service? The, that's what we're reviewing. We have to get that number and we have to review it. We we're to not going to be able to settle our contract for months. How are you going to put a number in that we don't know what's going to be? Or is it, yeah. What are you going to accept whatever that number is? We have an emergency So if we give a raise to the CPW, it could be it could be noted in there that depending on any contractual issues. Okay. All right. So Dan, you'll let me know whatever it is that we need to do. Yeah. Resolution wise. You only I think you only need to do the Cheslehurst uh, sewer operator one. That's it. Get beat up every time they come in here. Well, because you won't hear the little trivials, but then he's not trivial. Then somebody else should do it. I think that's a great idea. Someone else needs to make it. Then, then, then I don't want to be a part of some of this stuff. Maybe that should be part of the answer. He growled at me. Maybe that should be part of the answer. That I shouldn't be part of some of these discussions and some of these resolutions. All right, resolution regarding deed of construction easement. Is this far still? Yep. Yeah. Drafted it. Good to go. Yeah, I'm doing it today. All right. 
Uh, payment of bills, would someone like to make a motion to pay the monthly bills? Motion by Ms. Slot, Mr. Lamenstein, second by Mr. Shapiro. Roll call, please. Oh, uh, Mrs. Passier. Yes. Mr. Ranieri. Yes. Mr. Hoffman. Yes. Mr. Lamenstein. Yes. Mr. Carroll. Yes. Mrs. Carroll. Yes. Mr. Shapiro. Yes. Who made the motion in the second? I didn't catch it. Motion by Mr. Lamenstein, second by Mr. Shapiro. Uh, I have something else here. Uh, if you would, well, I have the renewal for our animal Sur control services. That's the warden. He's not changing his terms at all, and uh, that should be something we should discuss. I don't know. Should it be before the, the end of the year? Yeah. When does the contract expire? Probably the first or the end of the year. Twelve thirty-one. Yeah. Are we staying with home with that? That's another and issue. We haven't. We haven't really went in there and discussed. I've received nothing from them. Uh, there's a new director. I'm a, um, so it's my understanding we really haven't discussed that. Well, that's not in the next 30 days. we got to make a decision. I, I, I like to support Homeward Bound, but if it's a financial decision, I think we go with Voorhees. If it's a decision that council wants to stay with Homeward Bound, but then everyone has to accept that it's, it's less money in the pot to pay for other things because they're not, they're, they're running in the negative. Do you, do you want to go down with him? I think they should accept whatever we bring in as fees. You understand what my proposal would be? Whatever our dog license and cat license fees are, that's, the, that's all we can give them. Instead of them giving us a number, we give them what we collect. I suggested that last year. I don't know. I'm sure Shelly will say that it's not paying out well. Okay, can you be defended? How much money did it lose? Well, what we've done over the last two years is move money, move expenditures out of our trust account when it really should be self-liquidating. I understand. Fees. But as of now, that's no longer working. Again, we're back to where we were two years ago. So what our options are right now is to either check with Homeward Bound and see if our intake number is equivalent to what our contract is to see if we can maybe bring down the cost of the contract because at the rate that they're increasing annually, we just can't sustain it anymore. We can if we decide to take it from other items. Yes. So let's be clear, she's saying a trust account, but council can decide to put money into the trust account. Just because it's self-liquidating doesn't, doesn't mean that if council wants to put 15,000 into where's, that account, we can't. Is that correct? The we're already, but that's the correct. bureau's already paying for animal control, vet bills, things like that. We bought, we're we already contributing right? to that. But if yes. council wants to stay with are more family, towns? we would put money into it. Are there other towns that are using uh, Wardies? Or yes. yes. And how are they? It's cheap. Much. Much. So can you? We, what we could do is quote both and see um, what the difference in cost would be. And if you'd like to look into the services there as well to see if you're comfortable with um, what they provide as far as the services. Um, I know that there are very strict know. standards that we as a town like the to hold. bottom line will be any better than Does this have to be done by 29? <laughs> it should be done before next year. Yeah. We should well, sign an agreement and get well, they, it done. There's an agreement with Homeward Bound and then we have a separate agreement with our uh, animal control office. Well, this is the control. Because we've been loyal to Homeward Bound. All right. Well, yeah, animal control, the animal control is and the work is together, right? Yeah. No, yeah, two so, separate groups. Yeah. We're talking the shelter service is what yeah. we really need mm -hmm. to assess. Yeah. That's how we're Would you consider raising the fees? No. No. Oh, no. Council, you want to raise fees? No. 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 Okay. No. no. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I don't think we need to raise yeah. fees. The only option there would I think, be maybe I think uh, an additional. I told you, we could take it from some other department. Mm -hmm. Take the money from another department and put it in animal, animal, uh, no, I'm just asking. Shelly and I have the discussion today. Solicitors. Okay, I'll so. okay, we'll we'll How about if we all chip in a thousand yeah. out of our department? I tell you, I, I agree with Shelly that they should prove that they're, they're bringing in as many animals no, that they're I understand that. So then, so once again, so then the second thing is you're only going to accept what we have. And the last one is we go somewhere else because we have an obligation to keep the cost down. Uh, is Jonathan still running the show? Down? Yes. And have you talked with him? Who the commission? Yeah. Uh, the county. They go out for bid, and they allow somebody to run it. Run it. It's not part of the county government. It is a they private had a, they organization. Had a mix up. They had a mix up of theirs. 
You know, just like other things. They, they go out for Jonathan, Jonathan is a fair person. He's very fair. County's not going to put money. They're trying to reduce taxes. Okay. We're going to go around the table. Ms. Passio? We, just one thing. We were able to get our um, uh, the grant money where anybody that has a feral and wants to bring it to home, we're bound to get it fixed. There's no fee for it. So we did accomplish that. Okay, so if a resident has, is taking care of ferals, they need to get them TNR'd, there is no charge. So I, I, I did, was able to accomplish that. That's great. Yeah, that's okay, great. so that's, well, we that's, a, board, that's a good thing. That uh, most likely, you know, but I'm not sure. We just have to get everything in a row. Okay, I just want to say thank you to everyone that participated and helped in the, <coughs> the Christmas parade. It was absolutely successful. It was, it was wonderful. Oh my gosh, I got so many compliments. And gee, Facebook is blowing up with just tons of compliments, and which is uh, exciting. And uh, I, I appreciate it. I thank you, fire department, or, or everybody that involved public works, uh, uh, our police. Thank you, thank you, chief. Well, um, we, could, we couldn't have done it. We couldn't have done it without you stopping all that traffic. Um, we got lost. I do. I must have to say that. I saw that. Oh my God! All of a sudden, there was a parade it was, it was with the, just. You were driving too fast. With just no, we were driving, we were driving and so and slow and with the guys that we lost the flash of lights. So the we parade, usually take a left. And the, parade, the, street. the parade was four blocks ahead. You couldn't even hear them, and here we. Oh, that was pretty funny. Yeah, well, Santa Claus the street uh, band. <laughs> Sergeant Wolin and uh, I think Eric were standing on the uh, Black Horse bike. They're going. Where's the rest of the crew? <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we were back there. We were back there. So, but um, yeah, everybody just said it was one of the best parades they ever saw. So I'm really happy. Uh, we do put a lot of work into it, a lot of thought into it, and it's just a lot of teamwork and, and uh, everybody. It, that and our Halloween was just fantastic. So thank you all for participating. Thank you all for being a part of it. Um, I hope everyone enjoyed it. And with that, I say progress. Thank you, Nick. Uh, Council, good evening, everybody. Um, in finance, we are working towards closing out this year. Uh, we are preparing for the 2022 financial statement. Our 2023 budget process will be underway shortly. We're waiting for, uh, we're going to work with all the departments. And we're going to have to gather that inf information no later than this December 15th. And we talked about fuel costs and maintenance costs, and that's a couple of the weak points we have right now. And we're probably gonna to have to transfer some money to cover the additional fuel costs this year and maintenance costs. And I, I guess it's just a sign of the times. Everything's more expensive, maintaining vehicles, parts, service, and um, the uh, fuel. So it's a good thing we are moving towards hybrids and electric vehicles. We're saving something there. And uh, the rest is progress. What about sustainability? Oh. Are you able to get the uh... sustainable well we won't know how we fared but we did make the deadline we got our uh, our um, application in on time and we need 150 points and we were able to introduce 250 points so if Great. they cut it uh, if they cut it they'll still give us time to work on getting it back up um i'm feeling i don't know do they seem a little tougher this year and i was a little short-handed but um it could go either way I'll let everybody know as soon as I find out. Probably two weeks on now. Great. All right. Thank you. Uh -huh. Ms. Kelly. Thank you, Mayor. Well, the big issue <laughs> is the fact that we have a very successful grant writer back there, Anthony Dulce. And um, he and the chief and Shelley have put together a lot of grants this fall and within a period of six weeks we were able to obtain fifty seven thousand seven hundred dollars in grants for our fire department and there's going to be so many nice new additions i can't wait to see pictures of everything <laughs> so congratulations to both of you shelley for all your work this is, this is just a dream come true to have 
this money to do the things that we have been wanting to do for a couple years. This has been on the table for two years. We never were able to have the money to do it. And now that we have the grant money, we're going to do it all. And I just got word from the chief that Sergeant uh, Billy is, uh, Sergeant Billy yeah, Ortiz is going to be doing uh, a special award from the county, and that's on the 13th. Remember a few years back, about four or five years ago, yeah. we went. the county is honoring him again, and it'll be at the boathouse at 11 o'clock. So try to be there, Patty. I know you might not be able to, but it's 11 o'clock on the 13th. Okay. So I would like the public safety group to go there, the yeah, mayor. Who's buying dinner? Hmm? It sounds like it's breakfast. Oh, right. It's 11 o'clock. Okay. So, it, uh, just the, they're just going to honor him, so I don't know. They're, they'll probably have finger food. The food brings people out. Yeah, yeah, but anyhow, so I just wanted... Uh, Are you going? You could take me. Maybe. You don't say Public me. safety. Okay. Congratulations to Sergeant Ortiz. And that's all I have there. Thank you. Rich, we'll just go around and then we'll... I'm sorry, we'll go this way. Okay, oh, all right. Oh, Bob, you go. No. <laughs> sorry, Bob. Sometimes we go, uh, yeah, we do go seniority. Thank you. Uh, Reconstruction on Manor Court and Bowers uh, Avenue. Construction is substantially completed. Bach Associates submitted recommendations for payment two and they're coordinating with the contractor regarding punch list repairs and final closeout on the project also on reconstruction of forest construction is also substantially complete Bob associates submitted the recommendation for payment number one they will also coordinate with the contractor regarding punch list and repairs and final closeout on the project uh, sewer extension project Bach associates continue to coordinate with New Jersey DEP regarding review of the project and uh, that's that. I have, I, that's everything I have. One question I have is the chicken ordinance. What's happening with the chicken ordinance? So it's, it's partially my fault. Um, we have to, uh, I have to appoint people to the chicken advisory board and uh, I kind of lost track of that a little bit. I speak to Craig said people. he wanted to be on the lead. Craig was going to be the lead. He said that he was going uh, to be on the yeah, my bring a bucket of She called me and I tried to call her back. We keep this, keep this right, so, so that's what what's going to happen. Basically, hopefully by the springtime, we'll have an advisory board and start moving forward with the house. Or the rest is progress. Oh, by the way, I was on uh, East Sham Road today. That's fabulous. I was just going to ask you about that because I got a telephone call from it. Yeah, they put the final code on today, yes. He has a doctor's appointment on December 23rd. He wants to make sure that this is the East Sham Road. Tell him that. <laughs> yeah, they. Oh. Tommy can't leave. You're there for us. Especially as you get down the hill, they made that. That's road, a phone call, really? Really? It's not even called me. They ask for anything um, for you. Councilman Farrell. Yes. I already. Uh, emailed two applications to two people yeah. for the chickens. Oh, okay. I made up an application. Oh, on the yeah. She put a chicken on top, and I think I, I, did. I, I, did. I, I, I took Maurice. Good. That's I took Maurice's cool. application. I turned it into ours, <laughs> and I made. I put this funny little chicken on a beach. Oh, and it is cute, and so he doesn't like it. Is it only two so, so far as Scrooge? That has requested. It. I said I gave it to my chicken on top. I gave him the application and the ordinance. Okay. And it has all the instructions contacting the woman that gives the uh, I know the class. took the course. So. <laughs> well, they're going to have to show proof of all that. Yes. It's all in the, yes. uh, in the ordinance. Yes. Thank you. That's great. Okay. Uh, uh, talking to Mr. Wolzon today, the uh, leafer that's a single machine that one person can operate is back up and running. That was down for a couple weeks. Uh, computer issues. Uh, just a number of things with it. It's not a regular vehicle anymore. Uh, we're looking possibly to get the street sweeper uh, converted into a uh, single use, single person uh, vacuum also for the leaves uh, for next year possibly. But we'll talk more about that at budget time, I guess. Uh, Public Works was down at uh, Harry Williams today doing the uh, decorations, getting them up. Pretty labor intensive. There were five guys down there. All five guys needed to be there. I was 
uh, in Harry's office today watching the guys on the cameras and uh, they were all busy. It's just a lot of stuff to do. Uh, as Mr. Wozunk said, in a couple uh, after today, it would only take two or three guys to put up the rest of the stuff, but they had to get all the piping up, you know, the barriers, the lights, and everything. And they were not overjoyed to be doing it, but it's a job they had to get it done, you know. So, but well, is they it? They had a nice day to do it. Yes, they did. Not tomorrow so much, but yeah. And uh, the, they were out there leafing today. The they even got the leaves behind my house um, out in the out in the field there. We're on our property up there, so that's not supposed to be there anymore. I know, but anyway, it always will be. But the uh, rest is progress, and I wish everyone a happy holiday. Thanks, Mr. Shapiro. Are you smiling? <laughs> really? It was a good day today. He's going to talk about the Boy Scout building. Oh, you are? No. <laughs> <laughs> Still, you know, talk about that. Well, what do you got? Uh, not much. Uh, basketball pretty much started for a lot of while. Everything else on the wall. Done. Harry's with Jazz. 2019. I don't know how many. I don't know. 2019. How many? There's a lot. A lot of kids. And, uh, all, all, the, all, all the teams have been uh, already picked. I think they've had their final draft uh, someday. So the coaches will be called. So basketball is going to be real busy. Yeah, that's great. Mm -hmm. Soccer's done, everything else, the rest is progress. Yeah. All right, thank you. Yeah. Oh, pickleball is, uh, we're working on it. Close it for the winter. One thing for anyone that uses the field house, the only switch that is to be shut off is for the light switch. Yeah. There are to be no circuit breakers pushed or turned off, nothing else, only the light switch. Or anyone from the RY. No, the, uh, I didn't talk to them, and the only the other switch they were turning on and off was the heat. Yeah. Off and off. I said, leave it alone. Leave it alone. Don't touch it. So, so that's yeah, the switch. Can we yeah, lock the breakers? No, you can't. Well, I have to get some. That's no, no. It's a fire issue. Uh, I've been in many buildings that I have to get keys to unlock breakers. Uh, Fire department, can we lock up the breaker lock? If the fire department shows up, they pull the meter. Yeah, you can lock it up. We, we get access to it. Yeah, you can lock it up. Yeah, you can lock it up. Yeah, you can lock it up. I've been in fires where they pull the meter. Yeah, we can lock it up. Also, we can also put a notch box on the door. Is there a notch box at the field house? That's a good point. They should have one so that they have to get inside. There's That's actually a fair one. There's a notch box on our white belt at the field house. So it's there. Oh, that's a good point, Mayor. That's why you get the big bucks. Uh, <laughs> yes. yeah, no. So, but anyway, if anyone does use a field house, only hit the light switch. Well, I think that solves the problem. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you want to go to Mr. Wozong first? Give him an opportunity. I got a mic. I don't need that one. You, that's for you. You have extra comments. Uh, Joyce, uh, we're missing a resolution for the part-time hire. Who's that? Um, there was an email sent out. Yeah, Cooper sent out. It's, 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 it's because it's in their committee. Yeah. They did it on 11 22. Start date was November 28th. Why don't we walk this on? What's his name? It's on the email. Cooper 7 10. My wonderful assistant handled it, so he has all the information. Unfortunately, he's in the audience. All right, so we're going to have res we want to do that first. Resolution twenty-two one fifty one plus will be the appointment of Mr. Mr. Okay, Cooper Sullivan. He's a laborer. Yes, part time. Part time laborer. Six months. Yes. Okay. Would someone like to make a motion to approve? I'll make that motion to approve. I'll second. Motion by Mr. Longstein, second by Mr. Sapiro. Roll call, please. Mrs. Passio. Yes. Mr. Neary. Yes. Mr. Longstein. Yes. Mr. Fowler. Yes. Mrs. Kelly. Yes. Mr. Sapiro. Yes. The resolution is adopted. What else you got? Yes. Yeah. Sorry, it was only, you said it only pushed. Sure. Thank you. Um, 
with that, we are working on the decorations for, for the uh, Harry Williams building. Um, the pike is decorated for what we have. Please take a look at the pike because the reefs are starting to get worn out. We're losing the greenery in them and so forth. Um, and the Christmas, the, the Christmas decorations are not cheap. So as speaking of Director Lobstein earlier today, I mean, we're looking at $750 for the smallest item per pole. And to, do, and to do any little bit of out there, we need at least 60. So we need to do it in phases. Okay, so we need to start putting money away. And with that, you also have, with the centennial coming up, we need to start making that as a priority with the budget. You know, that's in less than two years, and you want, everything's going to want to be looking nice, you know, three years. But with that, you know, we've been fighting with PSEG with the polls, getting them all taken care of. We still have about seven missing. We still need to do um, the trees. And we did learn at the League of Municipalities, DEP has a tree grant program coming out the first of the year, probably in February. But uh, with that, uh, we need to make it sure that if, uh, the people do take a tree on their property, they become owners of it. Anything between the curb and the sidewalk. It's, if the borough plants it, it's still the property owners. There becomes their liability. But uh, with that, you know, this progress was Responsibility. Responsibility, yes. But with that, uh, we did take a um, delivery of a new piece of equipment that's been on order for a year today. The, uh, the uh, skid steer loader with the uh, coal planer for doing uh, coal patch repairs and so forth. So we did receive that today. Uh, we got a couple of weeks of training with the guys. For the, yeah, well, hot patch, but for it's a coal planer for the patch. Um, but uh, the guys were happy to see that today. Uh, we did a little bit of training, but we have you to get out. You have a bucket on the front of it? We got a four and one bucket on it, forks, plus the, uh, the grinder itself. So, so you could go out to the baseball field and cut that grass. Oh, we, we can take the back coat out there, sir. Not a problem. Well, I figure this out. I have no problem. No, no, no problem. No. You know? I'm just going to go to the. You're almost up to it. I did my job. I did my job. So, with that, just progress with everything else. We've got a lot of stuff going oh, the on. Scout building is coming along. Scout building is budget, Mrs. Kelly. So we, we have to get some quotes, we have to get together and figure out what we're going to do. We, we've expended the 2022 expenditures, so we have to work on 2023. Yeah. Keep going. It's tough. Hey, Howard? Yes. What about those snowflakes that Barrington put down? Are they They're look beautiful. so nice. Mm -hmm. they're, they're actually oversized for the poles, and you got to remember, we have to face I everything were, inside. Why I discuss it because, as with the banners and so forth, when they stick outward, all the trucks that park along the curb lines or, or move down, they, they rip them off. One already took down one of the uh, the veteran, though. Yep. I saw that. Yeah. So, I mean, it's case in point. That's why we have to go in. But the poles, it actually, there's a, you're supposed to put them by the size of the pole. And Barron went oversized. ps and can actually have them remove them if they have damage to the poles. So you have to base it off the size of the pole, what you put up. They're the nicest things. They are. Oh. Yeah. But yes, but like I said, we got to look at it, but they're about $850 per per. Yes, and if you go LED, add more for the lights. Uh, unfortunately, I did, just... They, they look nice because they're big. I know, I love them. Yeah. I love them. They, they, they yeah. Harry and I to talk but, about it. But yeah, with that, I mean, awesome. we're trying to look at it, but we need the ideas for it. it but we need, we need to look at it so we can start with the budget for 2023. It's your budget stuff. You gotta take care of that public event. Well, I do. Stuff. I do. Anything else? Progress. <laughs> Shelby, did you have anything there? Uh, so, sir, do you have anything? I can leave that uh, mark. No problem. Uh, yeah, just the shared services agreements we've been working on and the public hearings before you. I had a conversation with Mrs. Kelly. The prosecutor's office was asking for our social media policy. I explained that that's just the prosecutor's office being the prosecutor's office, letting us know that they are there. We have a GIF. Uh, not mandated, but a Jeff recommended uh, social media policy. And the issue that Shelley aptly raised uh, was that we can't really have a, well, we can't, period, have a social media policy that covers the police department and the rest of the other employees. You run into equity issues uh, in that case. So 
Uh, I have reviewed the policy that our GIF has, uh, we've adopted, for, as recommended by our GIF. I'll shoot it over to Mrs. Kelly and she can submit to the prosecutor's office. And look, they don't have any authority to impose policies on us who have a policy making body or mayor and council or mayor in the event of a tie. Uh, is the plague you gotta keep it real sometimes, right? Um, and we'll, we'll if they have any suggestions, we'll take them into consideration from their perspective. Uh, but other than that, we're just wrapping up some year-end things, uh, renewing contracts, um, and the rest is progress. I just thank everybody for coming out to the Two Week Drive at Acme. It was even a bigger success than it was the first year, which is the year before. And then uh, next Tuesday, we say goodbye to Captain Murray for the final time. And then somebody got to reach out to Jenny to see if that World War II veteran is coming. Oh, yeah, Mr. Emily, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so. I don't know, I haven't seen him. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> thank you. The floor is yours. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, submitted my report in writing. Bob covered quite a few of the items that were in there, so thank you for doing that, Bob. Just to hit on a few things that he skipped over. Regarding the Manor Court and Bowers Avenue project, the contractor is supposed to be out tomorrow to address punch list items and also to address that drainage issue on 2nd Avenue. Uh, however, it's supposed to rain tomorrow, so I don't know if they'll be out there, but it, it is on their schedule. Um, under general engineering, the NJDOT has announced that fiscal year 2023 grants were awarded, and I'm happy to announce that the borough received $237,210 for our application. We have put in for Forest Avenue Phase 2, Payne Avenue, and Harding Avenue. Uh, we have requested $1.17 million, so we didn't get what we requested. So, so we will have to prioritize and come up, I'll meet with the engineering committee, and we'll come up with the recommendation, and then we'll submit a proposal for that. Likewise, the CDBG, we received $233,000 for that, but we put in for five roads. Our application was for 843,000, so we only got about a fourth of what we requested. So again, we're going to have to prioritize what roads we want to do, and uh, we're looking forward with that and start getting over design. And the 2021 project, uh, working with Shelley to get CDBG final reimbursement on that project, and I have to coordinate with her to get the CFO cert final payment voucher up to NJDOT so we can get the, the final payment for that. Um, Bob mentioned the sewer extension project. We're ready to go out the bid. We're just waiting on DEP to give us final approval and we get the drawing stamp from them and then we can go out the bid for that. And one thing that's not in my report is NJDCA has announced that local recreation grant applications are due January 20th and that is competitive grant that supports improvement and repair of public recreation facilities, including local parks, municipal recreation centers, and local stadiums. So if that's something you want us to go after, um, we will have to put an application in before January 20th, and yeah. we'll need some we will need a resolution. Yeah. I don't know if you want to do that in January at your reorg. And we can do it to reorg, because this way we can outline what it should be. If it's going to be down at the park, if it's going to be the DFW, you know, maybe we can, I don't know how we tie it all together. Yeah, it should be one application, or? I think it's one application. one application, one property? I sent you guys some information on that next week or so. Yeah. I didn't know somewhere. Tony, what was the name? The DFW cleaned up. Okay. And then I was going to pick up all. Yeah, it's a good recommendation. Well, that's what he said. So we're going to find out exactly. Like, clean one up. Yes, I did. Yeah, clean, you know, some point. Were you you were. They would have repaved the pickleball court? It's a possibility. That would be great. The tennis courts and the pickleball court. Sammy was ready to increase and be the reunification. They get so much use. Because they're so popular, too. Yeah, so popular. It's getting more popular. Okay. Anything else? Okay. Uh, is, is there anything else from anyone else? Can I say something? No. no. I just wanted to mention something, if you don't mind. Yeah. Harry mentioned the 100 year anniversary is coming up. It's going to be here before we know it. Some of the different organizations in town are talking about getting a committee together, start working on some ideas. One of the ideas that came up last night at the Chamber of Commerce meeting was the uh, wall 
on the uh, police department going down Clemens Bridge Road. It's a huge canvas, and that could be a celebration of uh, Runnymede. Uh, all that we were doing, all that we've done and we value could go up on that wall, and that could be an investment that we could think about. In addition to possibly the clock tower, I'm not sure if we're going to consider that, but that seems a little small, not high enough. Um, but just wanted to put that out there. That's an option, and that's uh, possibly a good project. And one thing I, I do want to say about that, most municipalities, when they get to their uh, anniversaries, you know, they, I hate to say borrow money. They borrow money to do all these different activities. So that's where we've got to come up with a plan and then a budget and then borrow the money to do the improvements, do the events, do all that kind of stuff that, that gets done. Uh, you're right, three years is not a lot of time. Yeah. Oh, we can so, put that thing, Mark, on the, uh, the six manhole covers, the, they seem to be moving pretty fast on the rest of the sham. Uh, what, what, you know, we're doing six manhole covers from Schubert to the pipe, right? Uh, not the I it's on, I was on hold pending. We got quotes. Okay. Or we got yeah. bids actually, but it's on hold because you want to fund it. Okay. Okay. Well, we thought, we thought okay. the county was moving forward with that part of the project. And right now, that's not. They have not gone out for bid for no. Hartford to uh, the Blackhurst Pipe. Right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Not okay. that I'm aware of, but yeah. they'll probably have money this coming year. So we need to plan for so we have, it. We have time for it. But I think what happened, if I remember, we right, thought it was whoever bid on it, they, they weren't really, we thought we could get a better price to just coat the man. That it, wasn't there some talk about different ways of? We had to replace it. Yeah, front, was that it? Yeah. Well, what was the reason why we, we, we killed it? It was the price came in money. No, they, we had they money. quoted. They we quoted. had money, and then we didn't have enough money, correct? The quotes have been ridiculous. They, they quoted for sealing one of the the uh, manholes. They priced that for all the manholes plus replacing, and that's what threw the price threw the completely out of yeah. range. Well, what do you think about going out for bid again? We have the, the, the stuff. Do you mind going out for bid again? Plans are ready, so. I, I was just wondering, you know, I hear We have to go out for bid if we don't have the money ready. But if it, you know, if we're why don't we finish paying off the two roads and see what's left over, what we have, and everything? And then, because you know, between all these different things, the firehouse, the scout building, the sewer pumps, you know, the forest. So, the list for 2023, how we, you know, how we but I, I have not seen a list of what's left over, or what's encumbered, and, and, and not been spent yet. So, I, I don't know. We, we've talked about some different things. I remember we had money for that, but then it wasn't enough, and then I think we reappropriated it. We'll see what's left, and then we got to come up with next year's if we're going to do a bond. Let's be clear: the sewer sewer extension road project, because it's a huge road project. It's about two miles of road. Uh, I mean, not quite two miles of road, but it's well. You're putting in over three and a half miles of pipe. Is it three and a half miles of pipe? I mean, it is two miles of road, and uh, you know. And uh, with the building down at uh, Public Works, the new building, where are we on that? As far as uh, we're dead in the water, same place as the same way to see that one's dead in the water. The the CCUA, you know, let me just clarify that what screwed up the CCUA so, uh, thing was we started designing where the building was, which was good planning, but it got convoluted in the building, the building and then we stopped moving forward with fixing the, the drainage. I'm on the impression that we're, we're waiting for the CCUA to come back with a final drawing. We are between their building and our building, we have our plan. For wetlands submitted DPP, we're waiting to get the wetland verification before the big table we're allowed to do that. Because okay. we're expecting to get that within the next week or two, then we're going to get to know the CCMUA to see what we can do. And that's going to be the priority is to get the drainage issue fixed yeah. before we build it. Mm -hmm. you know, I would say the building is, is right behind the ambulance. So, remember what happened to the ambulance? Yeah. The ambulance went away. That's fine. We gotta fix this, the, the drainage issue. That's what yeah. that, that killed it. That's what I said. We got to start a survey, and then all of a sudden we're talking about a building, and then that got the money that's ran out. We, did. we didn't move forward on the on the drainage. That's, then that's you why we're doing a DEP. You flooded again. Well, as long as we're working on the drainage, that's all I want to know. Something you asked. You asked nothing. I don't. But now I'm on the drainage. I can change drainage my mind. Drainage has to be fixed. <laughs> I can change my mind. Just think about it. I know. On my new shit. We can just move the whole public works building. Sure. Where we go? How about in here? Put you up here. All the trucks too? Yeah, you can just send the trucks on. Put it on. Oh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, yeah, well, well, Do you know what well, money's well, left well, over in these two road projects? Have you done your final numbers? I thought Bogey well, told me that some of the numbers came in a little bit lower. I saw yeah. there was some credits back. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I but you're going to fix you're going to fix Second Avenue. So Maria, so you know, the borough's spending eleven thousand dollars to fix that drainage issue on Second Avenue. How come the contractor is How come the contractor is not paying for it? It's not their fault. Um, that didn't exist before they did. I still think that the school district shouldn't be dumping their water onto our road, but that's a separate issue. But we'll fix it for the school district. It's a storm water. Mother, you're good. You know, you're good. You know, on Forest Avenue, there's yellow paint that has to go in front of Maria's building. Did that go to Maria's building? Is that a yeah. We used up the paint for this year, and that came in afterwards, so it's for funding for 2023. So. It'll get, eventually, it'll get yellow because cars. Seeing as the other lines are still needing to be done, yes, it's on the yeah. list, and we still have more to do. But cars are parking there in the meantime. That's the problem. Budget. So when will we get the yellow paint? Yellow paint? Never. January, we do a January. temporary budget. As soon as they have a temporary budget, you can start spending money. Again. You remember how that works? Seven people. Temporary budget. Just put a can of paint. So well, I'll camp. bring it. I'll bring it over tomorrow. I'll be in Maria's house with a can of paint and a roller and a brush. I got some spray paint. <laughs> get it working. All right, was there anything else? No. All right. This portion of the meeting is open to the public. Anyone wishing to speak, please come to the microphone, state your name, and address. Good evening. My name is this one. Why is that yes. microphone like yes. this? Why is it tied? Is there a reason? Can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. Right, thank you. My name is David Steinberg. I live in Runson House, apartment so B13. And I want to talk to you a little bit about what's going on as far as yeah. the labyrinth is, and some of the other things that we need to measure. Making me nervous. Take a couple steps back. Couple steps back. With the microphone. With the microphone. Just oh. backwards, so I can see you better. Oh, you can see me better. Yes. I'm better if I stand up here. No, I don't want to hold on. Needs to hold on. You, know. you have to hold on. You all right? Uh, I do have a problem with my leg. Stay right there. Stay right there. I, I, I think I prefer to, okay. if you don't mind, just to, to do that. Okay. So, that microphone What's your name again? <laughs> my, my name was Amos. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yes. A few things here. Um, we're planning some activities in the labyrinth. Uh, I've had several inquiries from people that would like to do some yoga, some Reiki, and perhaps some other things as well. And I've been in touch with uh, Joyce as far as what the borough requires. I understand they inter I understand that a million dollar uh, policy plus, uh, what, what was the other thing that you a mentioned? Whole, whole harmless a whole harmless women as well. So I want to make sure that uh, all the people that, that do anything at the labyrinth uh, will, will comply with all the rules and regulations on that. We imagine one of me is only going to schedule. Uh, we may be doing some other activities, uh, such as our Equinox activities, uh, and maybe a few others that we might be looking at, but we haven't made any final decision at this point. Um, let's see what else. I've got several things in my list here. Are these businesses that are planning on doing things? Yeah, they're, they're, they are practitioners of yoga. And is there a fee? Are they charging me? Uh, they may, and they may, they may not. I don't really know for sure at this point. I, I've met with a couple of them just to show them the labyrinth. Well, I don't understand if someone just wants to go do yoga at the park, why is it requiring to get insurance unless they're doing it as a business? If it's a business, then they're a business. Then they're a business. So they, they would need to get a business license? Uh, I don't believe I would so. assume they would have a business license if they're a business. I'm, I'm, well, true. Yeah. But is there any, any fee for them uh, from the borough as far as that's concerned? Our business license is only for properties if they had a business property yeah. and they get a license. Well, uh, so far, in someone having a business in their home, we don't need them register. Okay, well, the, the, these are uh, the people I've met so far, and there may be some others as well. The people I've met so far, uh, there's only one lives in Runnymede, but her business is in Audubon. So It's a, it's a public park. Public work. Okay. Unless they're charging, and, and that's where it gets a little. Yeah. Now, if, now if, if they charge, you know, I want to get this clarified because this is important. I want to be able to convey it to to all the people there, so everybody operates under the same things. If they charge, then uh, what happens then? 
that's where I believe it, it kicks in when they should put, provide insurance to protect us if they're you know using the facility. Okay. Even Dan, even that gets once again we're having this conversation again. It's a park. How do we how are we regulating the activities in a park? So it's a public park, and I think you made the appropriate distinction. If it's a public park that is open for anybody, that's fine. When you're talking something like the Harry Williams Building, that's a different thing. It's a park that's open for a limited purpose. Okay. So I think a public park is one thing, and then the Harry Williams Building is another. So the scenario says is that there's some people going to go down there and do yoga. Yep. You want to go to yoga? What does that matter to us? No, that's not what he's saying. What are you saying? Uh, I, I don't know if they'll be charging or not, and that 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 that, that, that could change things. Does that make a difference? For a public park? Yeah. So if, you, if Yoga Rebellion in Haddonfield okay. was going to go to the Runnymede Park and offer a cl yoga class there and charge. If it's, like a, for if it's a formal class a and formal charge, class, then yeah, yes. they they're using our property. So and let's say somebody slips on something, yeah. okay. that kind of thing, yes. Okay, so, as long as, so if they charge, then they're required to have all the insurance and all the liability. So and yes. Okay. But there's no fee for us to go. No, no fee, okay. I, I, I wasn't sure. So I need Fees are only for the Harry Wayne. Got it. Okay. All right, good. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Um, okay, the Community Design Collaborative, we've uh, just bring up to date. We've, we've, uh, we've contracted with them. They are in the process right now looking for architects from they're all from the American Institute of Architects Philadelphia chapter, and I don't expect anything to happen before sometime next year, because they're they're they're, they're going through their normal phase as they go through with that. Uh, any any anything that comes up of this, of course, I, I said before and I'll say it again. We'll be happy to keep you informed as to what's going on. I've been working with uh, Councilman Farrell uh, in reference to this. Uh, he's a good guy. I hope he thinks I'm a good guy. Okay, Community Design Collaborative is... The organization, the independent organization, is working with another independent organization. It has nothing to do with us. They're just looking at what they think might work for this community. Once again, it has nothing. All they're doing is communicating with us. If they need our support, that would be a different story. If they want to do something, they'd have to come in front of the planning board or the or the, uh, the, the council for something. But at this point, it's just looking at something. Correct? Am I saying that properly? Uh, they're going to be providing us with uh, pro bono um, design and consulting services as architects. Okay. Uh, but that means, no, I'm a business owner. Design and no one has to tell me what I'm going to do with my building, but they can make recommendations and ideas and things like that. It's just two, Same with us. It's just two private groups talking to each other. And then when they bring ideas to us, then we... What trees are better? Then you come to council, then you come yeah. to right. you, come, you yeah, will come here, and you will tell us yeah. 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 what An idea. We kept, we kept, we kept saying to them... <laughs> 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 That's fine. We kept, we kept telling them they, they weren't telling us what was going on, so now... Right, I, I, I remember, I remember so you got chosen. Right. 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 Now the difference is if they start doing stuff in the, in the right way, that's when the gray areas come. They start putting so trash you cans every on. time you meet when you meet with Dave, you will come back and tell us what you've sure. discussed. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. yeah. Sounds good. Exactly, because uh, I, I think working within the redevelopment area, I think it's a golden opportunity. I mean, where, where else are you going to get pro bono services from from licensed architects? And if they come so, back with a good idea. Then yeah, uh, do, do, uh, I, I don't know fully how X was going to work. I know we're I know we're planning some uh, workshops in connection with the uh, with the business community to help them as far as uh, as presenting presenting their properties, uh, you know, window displays, and a bunch of other things like that that, that are designed to help the businesses become uh, successful, more successful than what they are. And again, it's a little too soon to go into a lot of detail because we haven't really had a lot of contact with the people. We haven't, we haven't had our second meeting with them. The first meeting, uh, one of the representatives came to our group, explained, uh, explained the, in general the kind of things they're doing. We haven't had any face-to-face -face meetings at, at this point. Sometime after the first year, I expect, once they get their volunteers, uh, and, then, and then at that point we'll have 
we'll have perhaps a little more to talk about. So can I say like, like Cook's Wars is a great example. Where, you know, that had nothing to do with us. That's just a design, coming up with a plan, the stone. I believe you have to look at the Harry Williams building and there's Well, that would not, that would be us that. There's some landscape, yeah. architectural landscaping. But there's a combination of the businesses and the municipality. Yeah, 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 exactly. So, I think it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's going to be nice. It's, nice. it's going to be a very, 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 very good thing for Runnymede, uh, for the residents, for the businesses, everybody. Well, bottom line is, I mean, you say pro bono, but the bottom line is, in, in the end, it will cost us money. No, the design. No, not, not the borough. Not no, the design. No. So if someone says, say they come back and they say, they want us to put stuff on the board, like the lights, these Christmas decorations. They say, here's a great idea for Christmas decorations. Then we decide if we want to do that. The design aspect is for it. If they go to the business owners and say, look, you should change your windows, you should redo your siding, you should put some... How are they making money? They're not. It's, it, you know, this is a non <laughs> the design is pro bono. Now, if you hire contractors, that's where the money would be spent. No, Patty, just to clarify what you're just saying right now, uh, we, we paid a five thousand dollar fee out of reimagine one of me for to have the opportunity to be able to do this. They've been they've been doing this for over thirty years, mostly in Philadelphia. They're now branching out. I think we're the second group in Camden County, or second group in New Jersey. They're actually working with right now, but they're very excited about coming to us, doing the same kind of things they've done elsewhere in the city. And like I said, they had a long record of success bringing, uh, bringing businesses together, bringing communities together, doing what they're doing. So, uh, so I'm very, very excited about it because it, it's a good thing. It's going to be good for everybody. Everybody benefits from this. Uh, one more thing concerning the labyrinth is that we've engaged with a uh, professional, uh, a professional person to uh, plan what we're planning. What we'd like to do is bring the woods over closer to the uh, to the uh, uh, to, 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 to the guardrail. Not quite, because I understand there may be some walkway uh, put at some future point. And uh, once I have that plan together, then I'll present it to council so you can take a look at it and. You know, and any comments that you have would be glad to uh, to take a look at and discuss. Well, you've been talking about a buffer for some time. Uh, yeah, we've been talking about it, but we've engaged someone, uh, and uh, uh, I don't have anything at this moment. Probably next couple of weeks, I suppose we may have something, and hopefully by next meeting, uh, the end of the month or uh, sometime in January, to make a presentation. <laughs> and we won't be doing any any planning until sometime in the spring. So there's plenty of time to uh, look at it, discuss it and say, well, we'd like to move this over here, this over here, whatever, but whatever it is, it is. The last thing, and then I'll sit down, is that on the 21st, I'd like to invite everybody here to our, uh, our winter solstice event. One of, th one of the things we're doing on the 16th, which is a Friday, we'll be over to Harry Williams, and we're planning to, uh, to again, do the same thing we did last year. We had these uh, big paper globes, some of you may be familiar with them. They're about 12 to 15 inches, and they have a little light inside of it, and we're gonna decorate all of them at the Harry Williams Center, and then bring them over to the labyrinth. Uh, one of the things that's really cool, and I don't have anything to show you right now, but we had, we had a drone view. Are you doing the decorating in the building? We're doing the decorating in the building. Which, uh, what night and which day? And Friday. Friday night it's yeah. all booked and all good? Yeah, it's so all booked, we're, we're all set as far as that. Concerned. Um, okay, thank you. Um, so I'd like to invite you to the event. There'll be a meditation, there'll be a labyrinth walk, and there'll also going to be a fire spinning, which which we have approval from the fire department as well. So thank you. Fire spinning? Pardon me? No, Ken does the fire spinning. I don't even light a match for a cigarette. You ask me to do the fire spinning? <laughs> Thank you very much. Right, thanks, Dave. Thank you, Dave. Thanks, Dave. Anyone else wish to speak? Anyone else? Seeing no one else, is there a motion to close the public portion? We've got a motion to close the public portion. Is there a second? I'll second that. Right, motion by Mr. Lomstein, second by Ms. Passio. All in favor? Aye. All right. The public portion is closed. Is there anything else? We can talk after the meeting. All right, I'm ready. Uh, you, you know. Uh, not a good day. No, Is there a motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion to adjourn this meeting.
I'll second. Mr. Minus Pass here, second by Mr. Wallenstein. All in favor? Aye. We're adjourned at 7.30.